Yo, what's up? It's John from Promo Weapon and Print on Demand Design. For all your graphics needs, whether it be for screen printing or uh, print on demand designs or social media, whatever, hit me up if you need some work done. Uh, we're, what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to go into the free software Inkscape, um, completely free to download. It's a vector uh, graphics package, and we're going to create a free design with free elements that are going to be free for commercial use, so you can actually sell the designs that you make in this free program, which is awesome. If you don't have, say, CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator right now or yet, or you're just getting into this and you want some free software to use. So, check it out. Let's open Inkscape, which, by the way, we'll, I'll have a link to the download for Inkscape. If you don't have it, pause the video, go grab it, come back and check this out. Okay. So, what we're going to do is first set our property document properties here under File. And we're going to change the size. I've already done mine. I've got, and when you first open this, it's going to be millimeters. So you're going to change it over to pixels. There we go, pixels. And your width is going to be 4,500 pixels, and your height is going to be 5,400 pixels. And that is a standard size for, say, Merch by Amazon. Okay? And that just so happens that that size will also work for other um, print-on-demand sites, like um, Printful or Redbubble or... Um, uh, several others. So, okay, got the size. We're gonna need a. We're gonna create a bear design because that's the first thing that popped into my head. So we're gonna get. A, we're gonna have to get a bear. So how do we get a bear clip art that we can use to to make our design and actually have it be like a non copyright issue? And the way we do that is we go to Google and you can type in bear silhouette, which I've already done here. So I'm just going to click on that. Now, when you go to Images, you're going to go over here to Tools. You're going to go to Usage Rights. And you're going to go for Creative Commons. Most, but not all, of these are going to be able to be used for commercial use. Okay? So I've done, I've already downloaded one. I'm going to minimize that. Import my bear. When you, when you import an image, you're going to want to keep this with embed, default import resolution, and smooth, optimized quality. And boom, we have a bear. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when we import a JPEG, which is what this is, means it does not have a transparent background, and I'll show you that if we put a background behind this and turn it, say, yellow, go to our select tool up here and hit this, which is lower selection to the bottom. And we can see that our bear has a white background. We're not going to want that. <clears throat> okay, so now we can get rid of that background by clicking on our bear, going to Path, Trace Bitmap. And just click OK and X that out. And ta-da, we have a bear with no background. Awesome, right? Now, if you don't understand what just happened there, I'm going to try to explain briefly. The JPEG is a raster image, which means it's made up of pixels, which means if you enlarge it, it's going to get blurry and it's going to get jagged around the edges. I'm sure we've all seen some bad-looking images with jagged edges and it's very pixelated looking, right? So... What we did when we went up to Trace Bitmap, we made it a vector image, which is void of pixels. It's just lines. So if we zoom way in on the edge of this bear, you can see there's no pixels, which means it's infinitely scalable. Okay? I'll do another video about vector versus raster images later, but we don't have time to get into that right now. We can delete this yellow background. Just hit delete on your keyboard once you click on it. And we got a bear. We can change the color of this bear if we want. That's, that's a pretty neat color, right? I don't know. Eh, let's keep it black for now. And what we're going to do next, we're going to go to Align and Distribute down here under Object, which is also Shift-Control-A. 
over here where it says relative to, that's what we're going to center the object to. We're going to center this object relative to the page. And you can, you can do other things like the last selected or first selected or whatever. We're going to keep it at page. We're going to come over here to center on vertical axis. And boom, that's going to center that bay of the page. So we know it's all nice and centered up. Now we, all we need to do is like throw some text in here, right? Now, fonts. Just because you have a font on your computer does not mean that you can use it for commercial purposes. A lot of people do, and usually get away with it. Okay, but, you know, you can take the chance or not, it's up to you. Or, you can go back to Google, and you can type in, got caps on, free for commercial use fonts. And here's one of my favorites, 1001fonts.com. These fonts are all free for commercial use. Okay? Super awesome. So we can and we can click like what kind of what kind of font we want up here. I'm just gonna click bold because I want a bold font. And I like the look of this railway, so I'm gonna go ahead and download railway. If you haven't installed a font before, I'll show you. Well I'm on Windows, so it's gonna vary. I'm gonna save it to my desktop as a zip file. Save. Now we can minimize that and minimize our design for a second. Now a zip file, um, you're probably familiar with it. If not, you just got to right click on it. And I'm using pzip, but you can go to uh, open with if you're on Windows. And it'll open with Windows Explorer and you should be able to just install them from here got a lot of different variations. Bold, extra bold. I'm going to select them all just by dragging up. Right click. Copy. Paste. And basically that's just, it's one way to extract thing from a zip file. Pretty simple. I'm going to select all those. Control click. Select them all. Right click. Install. If you want, I can do some more videos on um, fonts and how to work with those as well. And feel free to ask me a question in the comments or um, hit me up on the Facebook page for Promo Weapon or POD Design, which I'll also link to in the description so you can get me that way. All right, we've got Railway installed. That's the name of the font. Um, open up Inkscape. We need some. This is your text tool. Um, this is your standard toolbar over here for most vector programs are going to have very similar things. We've got shape tools, uh, rectangles, circles, stars, and special shapes. Um, your freehand tool, your Bezier tool, um, which is like your pen tool. I don't know if you're familiar with pen tools, but in every graphics program there's a pen tool or a Bezier tool, um, which lets you create like lines and then fill those with color. We don't need to do that right now. We're going down to our text tool. Click on your page. And we'll say something semi-clever. Like mess. Mess with the bear. We'll see. I don't know. Mess. Now, we can double click into this font. Highlight it by clicking and dragging. And I have lots of fonts installed, but uh, what we want to do is find Railway, the one we just installed. And we should be able to just type it in. Railway. I don't know what that is for. Apparently it doesn't want me to use Railway, the one we just downloaded. Because it's not there. So right now we're just going to use Roboto. Because I happen to know that that is a Google font and it is free to use. So, mess. And again, we want to center that. We can go over here to center to page. Actually it's called... What's it called? center on vertical axis. 
so center on vertical. All right, mess. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Control D, and that's going to duplicate that. I'm going to hit Control and drag it down. Double click, highlight it, and we'll say with the bear. And we'll center that to the page. We're going to grab this. Now I'm holding control when I resize this, so it will resize proportionately, okay? I'm going to make it about that big and center it to the page over here. Mess with the bear. Let's resize this a little bit. Center the page. Make our bear a little bigger, center him back to the page. It's all pretty close together. Let's spread it out a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. This one I'm going to duplicate. Control D. Control. Excuse me. Drag it down. And we'll say mess with the bear. Get mauled. That sounds. That sounds cool, right? Now we're going to duplicate the big one because by duplicating Control D. We're keeping the fonts the same size, and we can just control D and drag it down, and it's the same size. Our, our big words, are, we want the same font weight and size. So, mess with the bear, get mauled, right? And you can also do, like, mess with the bear, get tore the heck up. I don't know, whatever you want to say. <laughs> right, so, there we go. I mean, that's a design right there. I don't know if it's one people are going to clamor for it. They're going to, you know, be beating down your door to buy that one. But it's I'm showing you the simplicity of creating a basic design in completely free software using completely free elements. You paid absolutely nothing for any of this. Now we can Control G. That's going to group those, and we can center them all to the page. Right? Cool. That's the design. That's it. That's that simple. Okay, now we're going to export it. Uh, export PNG image is what you're going to want if you're uploading this to a print-on-demand site. So export PNG image. And over here it's going to give us some options for um, size and resolution. Now, see over here where it says pixels at 96 dpi? I want 300. I want to hit enter. And I need to move this... Uh, and right here, export right in the middle. And uh, it's, it's telling us here that I already have a file named bitmap.png, so I'm going to change the name of the, the file here. I'm going to call it bear and export. Export in progress. Okay, I know it's taken a long time. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and once we have that exported, if it ever decides to export, which I think it just did, then we can upload that. Where did it go? I forgot this. There it is. It's on. Uh, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna cut it. Put it on my desktop. There we go. There it is on the desktop. Double click into it to preview it. Boom. See that? Awesome, right? Ready to upload to a site of your choosing. Or make a mock-up with on a t-shirt, okay, which I'll do in another video. That'll be cool, too. Because um, you're going to need to know how to make mock-ups and things like that. So that, uh, people, is how you make a completely free design using completely free software with completely free elements. And stay tuned for more. If you, um, if you like this video, man, hit, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm going to be trying to upload a video every 
at least every couple days. I don't want to say every day and stick my foot in my mouth. But I appreciate you watching, and I hope you come back for more. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.